name is Aisha Arfan. I work as an education, justice, and policing policy analyst for the Manhattan Borough President, and I did the SECO program in 2012. Right now I work for the Manhattan Borough President. I do everything related to her criminal justice, policing, education, and immigration agendas, and that can mean a variety of things. One of the powers of the Borough President is they do have the ability to introduce legislation in partnership with a council member. So I can be drafting legislation, I can be writing policy reports to really get a, an overview of the landscape of the issue and then come up with specific recommendations. Things stay interesting because you're doing a lot all the time. I love that I still get to interface with advocates and community organizers. I think I'm really lucky to be in an office where that's highly, highly valued. The opinion of people who are directly impacted by any policy change. I love being able to glean information from there and then translate that into policy change. The reason I got into policy was I realized there weren't a lot of people that looked like me and there still aren't and so that's, you know, I'm lucky to be in the room and I'm happy to be an advocate and you know, use that position to my advantage. Staffers play a really meaningful role in pushing forward agendas. Um, there's this idea that folks have that the principal you're working with, so the elected official themselves, will be pushing things forward, but I think a lot of the legwork the analysts and the liaisons are doing. So if organizers are meeting with analysts or anyone from city government, I think as concrete as you can get with your asks, of, you know, this bill works, this bill does not work, here is a specific language that's not working. When I had the SECO internship in summer of 2012, I was working a lot with young people. And I think that's the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life. But if you can learn how to build relationships with young people, I think you can build relationships with almost anyone. So I have a 17-year-old sister who is currently a junior at Stuyvesant. And a lot of the work I do, a lot of it is focused on youth civic engagement and the youth voice in these organizing spaces and policy spaces. She's been a huge influence. If there are people who are invested in you, invest back in them, use them as resources, ask them for advice, follow the advice they give you, because I think a lot of times people give us advice that we're not ready to hear, or we don't really want to follow, but I think your peer network and your mentor network are everything, but also make sure you're putting in the work that people want to be investing in you. Ha, ha, ha.